God bless you. What's good, fam? Praise the Lord. This is your boy, Reverend Calvin, and welcome to Trinity's Youth Hour. We have a great program in store for you today. So parents, go get your babies, go get your children, go get those young people. I need you who are watching to share this video right now. Share this video because we have a great word in store for you. I miss you all so much. However, I am so grateful for the opportunity to bring the word of God to you virtually. Can you believe that, amen, we have been producing Hallelujah Trinity's Youth Hour going on five months now? Wow, we have a number of programs that we have produced, hallelujah, and I have had such a great time, hallelujah, with the young people, glory to God, with other people who've been a part of this, because we value you, and we want to continue to show you that we love you, and that we want to educate you and bring the word of God into your homes. I'm telling you, I'm in awe amen, of what God has done even in the midst of a pandemic. I'm telling you, we got a great program in store for you all. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. authority living life without an apology it's not wrong here I belong here so you might as well get used to me I can say that again I'm walking in authority living life without apology it's not wrong there, I belong here, so you might as well get used to me. My mother may not be a queen, but my father's king of everything. I'm adopted into the royal family, so I guess that makes me royalty. I'm walking in authority, yes, God. Living life without an apology. It's not wrong, dear. I belong here. So you might as well get used to me. He's giving me dominion, oh, yeah. Power over men, oh, yeah. Everything I do is blessed. Come on. I am walking in the blessed. Hey, I am walking in the blessed. Hey, I am walking in the blessed. Come on. I am walking in the blessed. Come on. I'm living in my liberty. Oh, yeah. Living in my liberty. Oh, yeah. Walking in authority. Oh, yeah. So you might as well get used to me. I'm walking in authority. Living life without an apology. It's not wrong, dear. I belong here. So you might as well get used to me. Listen, 
will children of the Most High God understand and believe His holy word. We never have to beg or plead, for our mother will supply our needs. Will children of the Most High God hey. understand and believe His word? We never have to beg or plead. For our mother supplies all our needs. He's given me dominion, oh yeah. Power over me, oh yeah. Everything I do is blessed, oh yeah. Everything I do is blessed, come on. I'm walking in the blessed, come on. I'm walking in the blessed, come on. I'm walking in authority, I'm walking in authority. So you might as well get used to me. Amen. Amen. God bless you all and welcome back to Trinity's Youth Hour. I know you may be wondering, why did Reverend Jones sing that song? Yes, I chose that song in particular because it speaks to, amen, how we are valuable. Amen. In the eyes of God. And I want this program, hallelujah, today to encourage you young people to know your worth. Know your identity. Hallelujah. That no longer can you allow negative stigmas, stereotypes, what people have said about you, labels or the boxes that they have tried to place you in to hold you down. That this is your season, even in the midst of a pandemic, to be who God has called you to be. This is a season of revelation, young people, that God wants to show you your gifts, your passions. Amen. All that God has for you. So I want you to be encouraged by this program. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to talk about the man who was lying by the pool for 38 years. Come on. He was uniquely abled. However, he did not completely know his worth. But Jesus stopped by. Come on, somebody. Jesus stopped by, reminded him that you are not defined by what society thinks about you. You are not defined by what the media says about you. You are not defined by what your haters say about you. But Jesus values your life. Your black life matters, young people. Know your worth, that you are important. You are significant. You come from kings and queens. So God, amen, is sending, amen, the spirit by to tell you, rise up, take up your mat, and walk. Enjoy this story. John chapter 5, verses 1 through 18. After this, there was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate, there was a pool called in Hebrew Beth Zetha, which has five porches. In these lay many who were uniquely abled, if I may say, blind, lame, paralyzed, others whose faces were on the bottom or at the bottom of the well. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? The man answered, Sir, I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred. And while I'm making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, rise, take up your mat and walk. At once, the man was made well. And he took up his mat and began to walk. Oh, yes, children, he began to walk. 
Now, that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, it is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them. The man who made me well told me to take up my mat and walk. They asked him, who is the man who said to you, take up your bed and walk? Now, the man who had been healed did not know who he was. For Jesus had disappeared in the crowd. Later, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin anymore. Do not feel as if you are not worthy. Do not feel as if you are not called to fulfill God's assignment. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus. Come on, somebody. It was Jesus who made him well. Therefore, the Jews started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, my father is still working and I also am working. For this reason, I must do the will of God. Hi, everybody. I know y'all were, you know, y'all were looking for Reverend Jones to come back, but no, I had to come back myself and give you my testimony. I know you just saw what happened to me for 38 years, young people. I allowed what people said about me to keep me on this mat. I allowed other people to confuse me that I didn't know who I was. I didn't know that I was valuable in God. I didn't know my purpose. I didn't know my assignment. Young people, please, don't let it be 38 years. Don't be like me. Don't wait. Don't wait. God wants you to know right now you are worthy and valuable for whatever God has in store for you. Don't let time go by and you miss out on what God has for you in your life. I want you to be able to sing the song like the psalmist or the jazz artist who said, I have no regrets. I don't want you to have any regrets, but know your worth. Jesus had to come by and remind me to not allow other people to pass me by. I kept allowing other people to pass me by lying on my mat with bitterness and jealousy, pointing the finger. But God was like, you need to get up and do what I've called you to do. Don't be like that. Don't become like, don't become like others who sit in judgmental seats, finding fault in everybody else because they choose not to get up and be who God has called them to be. You rise up, young people. Rise up. And yes, the Bible did not give me a name, but I want to give you a name of who I am. I am who God says I am. That's my name. So until the next time, Reverend Jones ain't going to close it out today. I'm going to close it out. Rise up. Take up your mat. Walk, children. Walk. Walk.